Hey vlog, it's Kaisa, and I'm gonna start crying soon. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I'm just, I've been with friends and am alone right now for the first time in a few days, and I just need to talk because I'm hurting so badly. Um, because I continue to let a, pers a certain person into my life who really treats me, um, in a very inhumane way. Um... And it's hard to learn this lesson over and over again. And yeah, there's, I just need to talk, you know what I mean? Because I think it will help me. Maybe I'll post this, I don't know. Um, it's just, it's so hard being in love with somebody who doesn't love you back. And it's hard, too, when they are so emotionless, like, I don't know, that me and this person have had a roller coaster of a relationship. I've known the whole time that he does not have feelings for me, and I have feelings for him. Okay, cool, like... He's selfish in that he wants to be with me in the way he wants to be with me, which is a friend who he fucks. And I'm selfish because I want him to change and be a romantic partner, you know, but that's not, it's not him. It's not fair. We don't, we're not on the same page. We've never been on the same page. But of course, there's moments where I see us on the same page and I'm like, hmm, but maybe, maybe things will change because right here in this moment feels so good. But it never changes and it never will change. This is your sign. If you're watching this video, if you feel like somebody doesn't love you, they don't and they never will. You cannot change someone. <laughs> And it's really tough. I've been in this situation before where I was giving and giving and giving. You know, this was four years of my life that I gave myself to another person because I loved them unconditionally and would do anything for them and, you know just pure love i'm very lucky to have had a loving life and i think like because of the way my life is and the people i have in my life like i have a very loving life i know what love feels like and i have a lot of love to give and i love to give it i love to love people <laughs> And I think that's why it's hard for me to let go of something that I love because I feel as though I really know how to love this person. And they can feel it, you know what I mean? Um, but they're taking advantage of me because I get no love in return. Even as a friend, you know what I mean? Like... It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but this person that I am involved with right now um, doesn't even know how to show love in a friendship way, you know? I've never felt loved by them 
consistently enough for it to be real. Um, I'm constantly disrespected and expressing, if I dare to express my feelings, I have to end, I always end up apologizing for it. He has never apologized for the way he has treated me. Um, and like, I asked him last night, like, have you ever been in love with somebody that doesn't love you back? And he said, yes. And I was like, so you know, like, you know the pain that I'm in, you know what I mean? You know how careful you need to be in that relationship. And I, I honestly think that it's possible to like, if you're very, if you're open with your feelings, as I've expressed my feelings to this person um, many times, he knows clearly how I feel and how it's difficult for me. But I also know that I'm capable of removing myself or inserting myself into this situation, you know? Like, but with him, he keeps his feelings. He does not tell my feelings. He doesn't want to talk about them. He refuses to talk about them, which first of all, why do I even want someone like that in my life? And I don't, I don't. At, now at this point, the cruelty has been so substantial that like, I don't even see him as a human anymore which maybe thank god maybe he needed to be that um horrible to me um and by horrible i mean he told me that he never wants to see me again over text message <laughs> and then refused to answer my calls and i'm the crazy one i'm the toxic one i and i apologized I literally apologized because I also said things I didn't mean, you know, he didn't mean that, but he said that. And that is one of the most hurtful things I've ever heard, especially like through a text message. Um, like it's incomprehensible, like to me that somebody would say something like that. Um, but for me, like, having love for this person, I un I understand. I have so much empathy and so much understanding. I know they are also hurting. And I know people say things out of being hurt. But that was, like, on another... That was on another level. I couldn't... I actually couldn't believe it. And I deserve so much better. And I'm, like, I, I'm sorry for myself, you know, for being in this situation that I could remove myself from. And at the same time, I wish that he would just walk away from my life. Like, he he doesn't let me go. That's the thing. Um, Like, I've tried. I tried months ago to remove myself from the situation, but he would literally text me, I miss you. And... And so what am, what am I supposed to think when I hear that? You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to think? That you're giving me hope. He gives me hope. And that's the, that's the cruel thing. You know what I mean? That's the dishonest part of it all. And it's like, it's just really fucking tragic. So, yeah. I really, and like, I'm trying not to be the person who blocks people, you know? I I don't want to have to do that, you know what I mean? I want to be an adult. I want to just be open, you know? I just want to be open and be able to handle, like, people. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I'm debating whether or not to block him, basically. And, like, on one hand, I just want to be open. I don't want to... I don't... I feel like by blocking, it's... Like, I want to be strong enough to deal with him without blocking him. You know what I mean? As in, I want to be the one to ignore him. I don't want to, like, actually put that virtual wall where it's like... Okay, 
let me explain. <laughs> With my ex, I did no contact because we dated for four years. Like, three and a half years, okay? And um, it was really toxic. I was constantly trying to pull love from this person who t was telling me that they loved me. You know what I mean? For all of these years. Telling me that he loved me, cared for me, that I was the one. We talked about getting married. Blah, blah, blah. I saw a future. And I loved this person unconditionally. And whether they loved me or not, they couldn't They couldn't love me in a way that made me feel safe. I, did, I felt very unsafe the entirety of the relationship. It was not healthy at all. And the emotional yanking of up and down of getting a one crumb of love from someone and holding on to it so tight because you have because you know that when this crumb of love <laughs> fades away you don't know if another one will will fall you know and it's one of the most painful things that you can go through um like I would rather I would rather just be in physical pain. Like I wish I had a broken arm or something. I'm being so dead serious. As somebody who has broken their arm, <laughs> that is what I'm wishing upon myself. Just kidding, universe. <laughs> but I did that for four years and it really like crushed me as a person because you are constantly it reinforces the belief that you are unworthy. I'm unlovable. I'm unworthy. I don't deserve to feel safe. I don't, you know, I don't deserve to be loved. Um, I don't deserve to be cared for. I don't deserve to be considered. I'm not, I don't deserve to be respected. But stay with me, you know, like stay in this relationship. But I won't love you. You don't deserve it. You you won't be enough for me, but stay with me. That is the relationship. And this relationship here is the same. And that past relationship, like, I was the one to break it off. Which is wrong. You know what I mean? This person was not strong enough to do it. They're too selfish to do it. I still think to this day that they are too selfish to understand what even went on. And I went no contact. And I haven't contacted them since, you know, no call. I didn't have their number, address, social media, nothing. Um, maybe like once a year, I would like go on his Instagram and see, you know what I mean? If I wanted to hurt myself, <laughs> but I didn't heal from it for a very long time. I just did the no contact and didn't think about it ever again. I did not dive into the ways that that relationship affected my mental health um and it really drove me to be suicidal because when you think that if, if that's what you think love is you know and that that was my first experience with being in love with someone and that's what I thought it was you know what I mean I was like love is just really painful so that is like the blueprint of love, of romantic love for my life. Um, feeling like so unworthy and never enough. No matter what, you will never be enough. Um, and it's like, it's such a mind fuck because you love this person, which feels good. Like, I love this feeling of being in love with somebody of loving someone of seeing them and seeing how amazing they are and they just it's it isn't reflected you know it fucking sucks but anyway like it took me a really long time to i'm still healing from that relationship and i will be healing it for a long time and like in some ways, 
in a lot of ways, like in the majority of ways, I think, even though right now I'm feel devastation and I'm heartbroken once again. This is not the first time I've, I have even been heartbroken by this person. You know, it's, it's constant heartbreak. <laughs> and at the same time, I'm so grateful because this relationship with him has shown me, look, you can have love for another person i have not been in love since like this where i really saw a person and could see like in a different timeline you know what i mean we would be a really good fit and we could really help each other like i really think that we balance each other in the in, even in our issues that we have in the way we see the world like you know on paper um it just makes a lot of it makes a lot of sense in a perfect world maybe whatever but that's not what it is it's not if or whatever it doesn't work we will never work he doesn't love me so there we go yeah i'm grateful that the universe has given me this person and i don't like to say like tests you know like oh this is like a test from god or whatever um but i do think it is showing me the ways that i have healed and have yet to heal from my previous relationship, which is this exact relationship. It's so, so, so similar. Um, and so I'm grateful for that, you know? And I mean, I hope that it's just, I don't know, it's a reminder it's a reminder of what I need and what I don't need in a relationship. And yeah, it is a lesson in, I mean, it has shown me a lot of what, what my insecurities are. And like, you know, a bad bitch would not put herself in this situation. And I tried, <laughs> that's the thing. I tried really, really hard to walk away many times. <laughs> Um, and it shouldn't, I shouldn't allow this person to, like, not let me go. You know what I mean? I should have control over myself. I should be able to walk away from something that I need to walk away from. Like, obviously. It should be my choice. And, yeah. I mean, part of me wants him to block me. I wish that he would just block me. This is the thing. I've also been in a relationship with a person who loved me more than I loved them. Okay? And I told them from the beginning, we are just friends. Like, I do not see that with you. I don't feel that romantic thing with you. But he pursued and pursued and pursued, which is what I'm doing now to this person, pursuing. It's actually so pathetic and embarrassing. Don't do that. If somebody shows you that they don't love you, don't, don't try to make them love you. Don't do it. It is a waste of your time. This relationship that I was in, where the guy loved me more than I loved him, like, it feels very good to be loved by somebody. Like, I get it. The way that that man loved me was really beautiful, really pure. I loved what he saw in me. I loved the way he made me feel. And I really, you know, attempted to resist you know what I mean? His advances or his per pursuing of me. But eventually was like, you know what? Like, this guy really loves me. Like, I should just be with him. And so we were together. And we had some nice times. Okay. And I did love him, you know? And I was, like, I would like to say that I was very careful with his heart, you know? And very loving. Because I'm a loving-ass person. Like, I... I will love you, okay? <laughs> and I loved him as a friend, so I treated him very well, you know what I mean? But of course, the relationship began to crumble and crack because, just like I said in the beginning, I just don't have that romantic uh, attraction. I didn't have that romantic attraction to him. And so, me being that person, you know, the one who loves less, the one who wasn't in love, I broke it off because that's my job. That's my duty 
you know i see how much this person loves me and it would be selfish of me to keep them around i was being i was selfish for a very long time in that relationship it should have ended earlier and i really i ha i mean i don't have any regrets in my life but it's a lesson that i will take with me that i will never do that to somebody ever again like use somebody's love you know and here i am in a situation where somebody is using my love you know what i mean i make this guy feel amazing duh like being loved by me is the most amazing thing in the world i know it because i have i love my friends and they love how they feel when they're with me you know what i mean my family i know there are people in my life who know what it's like to be loved by me and re and recognize how precious it is to, and special to be loved by me. Everybody's unique and everybody has a different kind of love to give. Um, and I just, yeah, I wish that I could continue loving this person and i will you know i'll always love them and it feels really good to love them i i love doing it <laughs> like i don't know he's easy to love i think um but when it's not reciprocated it makes me feel like i'm difficult <laughs> to love he thinks I'm toxic. It's literally, it's so backwards, you know? He doesn't realize how, he doesn't realize how cruel he is or how much pain he puts me through. And really, like, I just am so sick of being the strong person. Like, my first relationship, he should have broke up with me. He should have said, oh my god, I'm, I'm using this girl. Like, I need to put a, a stop to it. Just like I put a stop to my last relationship. And I'm going to have to put a stop to this one. Why? Like, just leave me alone. Why can't you just leave me alone? And I guess he tried, you know what I mean? He said it's over. <laughs> but it's not, you know what I mean? We talked after that, like... <laughs> I mean, it is uh, where I am right now. I just, like, it hurts so bad. <laughs> I just, like, cannot believe it. I mean, I can. It makes sense. And I know I'm crying and whatever. And I'm very heartbroken. But I know that I said that I was devastated earlier. And, like, I am. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I am devastated. I just, I wish that I could love this person. You know, I wish this person loved me back. That That is the thing. But they don't. That is the reality. They do not. And they never will. Okay? End of story. And, like, so that's that. Like, there's no, there's nothing else to be said. Like, that is the main issue. And that is not going to change. There's no way to, like, there's no solution you know, because there's no problem. Like, the problem is solved. We have the answer. I love him. He doesn't love me. Okay. Um, that, that should tell you right there what you should do. Walk away. Um, uh, he has, he's, he's actually fucked up. He has so many issues that, oh my god. And, ugh, it's a real bummer. Que rollo. Que triste, huh? I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Seriously. I think that what that is what keeps me sane is being grateful. That's like being grateful is what healed me. Is what has always healed me. That is what is healing, you know, because gratitude is love and like there's always something to be grateful for. And so there's always a direction in which to send your love. You know what I mean? I just washed my feet and 
clipped my toenails and gave myself a little foot massage after walking around on this hot day, they're really sweaty and stinky. <laughs> so I directed my love to my feet for keeping me up, not putting them on the camera, not for free. Let me know if I should start my um, OnlyFans if you wanna see my feet. They look really cute right now because they're all washed and scrubbed and massaged. I don't know why I just started talking about it. There's something to be grateful for. It's something to direct my love towards. And like my friend was staying here. And I just like, I think about the way that my friends treat each other. And like this friend who's here, she's not here anymore, um, but she was staying this weekend. We don't know each other very well. Like we met here in Sevilla and have hung out a handful of times. And even that, like, even this person, like, I mean, in the middle of the night last night, I went to, she was staying on her couch, and I was like, hey, girl, this guy, oh, no, it wasn't hey, girl, I was sobbing. I was like, ah, saying her name. I was like, are you awake? <laughs> because I had just gotten these horrendous text messages from this guy. And she read them, and she said her heart, like, broke for me she was she couldn't she was shocked and so that was validating you know what i mean um and she truly thinks that this guy is like abnormal which i agree he is not normal he has some he's seriously seriously fucked up seriously and i i i have empathy for you bro but you need to like get your shit together because wow like the issues that you have placed on my shoulders, you, it's not my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to make this guy solve his problems. He, maybe he will never solve them, whatever. Good luck to the people in his life that are going to attempt to uh, heal him. But he, really, he should do it himself. Like, please stop, please stop bothering people. First of all, here's another thing. If you don't want to date like don't pursue people or just can you please just say straight up i i only want to fuck you can you just say that and we'll do nothing else we'll do nothing we won't hang out we'll just have sex that's fine but none of this like getting to know each other it makes me actually want to kill myself and i'm i'm not exaggerating it that is what it, how it makes people feel it's psycho behavior put yourself in my shoes the amount of times i've explained to this man imagine if the rules were, were were reversed and blah 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 situation happened but i was the one that did this and you were the one that did this and he's like oh yeah that would be terrible he is incapable of putting himself in another person's shoes that and that's on men that's on men men please do better please i know you're not all like that you know what i mean like i'm I'm out of my, like, man-hating phase of my life. I mean, like, or am I? <laughs> I don't know. I know there's good ones out there. You know what I mean? And it was, like, I called my mom last night. She's with my dad. My aunt was with her, um, who has a beautiful relationship. My mom and dad have a beautiful relationship. My sister and her boyfriend have a beautiful relationship and they were talking about like obviously I'm telling them like oh, I'm so devastated blah 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 but they their relationships are such good examples of like healthy loving relationships of normal ass people who know how to behave and there's a lot of things that I want to say there's a lot of things I want to type out i want to write this guy a letter i want to blah 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 but i will not i will not it's energy that i can't give to him anymore because i will never be satisfied by his response i will never be satisfied by the way he receives me. 
I can give and give and give, but I will never be enough. I will never receive what I need from him. Never. I never have and I never will. And that is that. And he's an asshole for talking to me, for continuing to talk to me, for torturing me, for playing with me, for touching me. And I just want people in my life who are capable of love. Really big love because that's what I'm capable of. And I was just like, I was sitting here this morning. Of course, my friend, of course, she comforted me last night. It was so sweet. And we tried to like have a nice day today. And we did, you know. Um, And we were just like resting at home for a moment. And I was just in here by myself reading. She was packing up her things because she's moving from my couch to a hostel and she just walked in and brought me a bowl of watermelon just she cut up some watermelon and shared it with me to to comfort me as a gesture as something comforting I almost cried and I just like it's it's a, it's something so small but it's so but it comes from big love it's, it comes from knowing how to care for somebody, whether they're hurting or not. Like, she knows that I'm hurting, so she wants to do something nice and unexpected, you know. And, like, with him, if I'm hurting, it's my fault. <laughs> it's crazy. It's actually crazy. I deserve so much better. And it's it's really has shaken my confidence, like logically I know that I'm a person who's worthy of love I'm a human being it's my philosophy in life that every human being is deserving of love no matter what no matter what and so as a human being I know that I am worthy of love and care and I'm lucky enough to have an abundance of it in my life with my friends and family like, I recognize my blessings, my luck, my, you know, I recognize the love in my life and I'm endlessly grateful for it and very deeply moved by the love in my life. I'm so lucky. But when somebody treats you this way, it makes you question your beliefs, you know? It really shakes your confidence. It really, really knocks you down and makes you feel like you aren't worthy, that you're not enough, that you are not lovable. And I don't want someone in my life that makes me feel that way. I've said that before and have gone back to it. Um, but, yeah, I think he's a demon sent from hell to destroy my life. And I should probably block him. Because he's a demon, you know, not a human being. He's a monster. No, I'm just kidding. But that's how I feel, you know? That's how he makes me feel. Uh, I'm really gonna try to take care of myself. I've, first of all... This isn't the first breakup that me and this person have had. And I've gotten over it before. I've gotten over it a few times. I would say there wasn't a consistency in like which one was harder or easier. The first time was probably the easiest because I barely knew him. And like my feelings were there. But like, I don't know. The last time, like the most recent time, it was really hard but I did it. I was really proud of myself. But I guess I didn't get quite over it because I unblocked him and messaged him. But like, when you look back, it's with rose-colored glasses. I was like, was it really that bad? <laughs> I miss him. Like, I missed him so much. Which, whatever. Um, 
this this is has hurt the worst this particular moment and encounter has hurt the most like the conversation that we had last night via text because he's not answering my calls um and i literally sent him a voice message i was like hey so i don't know why you don't want me to hear your voice but you're gonna hear mine um here are my thoughts <laughs> I wish like I just didn't have romantic feelings because even my first boyfriend like I remember one of the times that the last time that we broke up was bad it ended on a bad note and I was pretty much like I hate you don't ever like goodbye forever don't ever contact me ever again unless I contact you first and then I blocked him on anything so it wasn't he wasn't even able to do that anyway but then like five years later this was like three years ago or something two years ago he sent me an email and there's a lot to unpack with that email maybe you've heard me talk about the email on my channel before i don't know if i've ever mentioned it but yeah it was really crazy but then i blocked his email <laughs> or i uh made his email like sent to spam or whatever i didn't respond to the email and i made my boyfriend at the time i was like um i am not strong enough to do this but can you please block this email for me and he did it which looking back is like that was kind of toxic that i made him do it i was so that email fucked me up fucked me royally it was so it was horribly timed but also like nothing is bad timing everything is just it ended up being, like, good timing. It, like, destroyed me and my boyfriend's relationship, which, like, maybe I needed it to destroy my relationship because he loved me more than I loved him. Eh. <sighs> anyway. It- This is the thing. I see- I see him being an email in the future. You know what I mean? It's- It's the same- Same shit. Different guy. They're even the same, like- They don't look the same, but they're, like, my- they're like one category of my type, which is emotionally unavailable water signs who are tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome, emotionally unavailable water signs, do not t contact me. Stay so far away from me. It sucks to heal over and over again. I want to be stronger. I want to be more confident. I want, like, as soon as I feel like someone is making me feel unloved or unworthy, I want to be so disgusted by that person that I never see them again, you know? Um, I kind of wish that I had more, like, black and white thinking about things because I'm so... Like, I'm someone that believes anything is possible. Like, I'm someone that believes things are very complicated and very deep. And at the same time, not deep and not complicated at all. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna try my best today. This all happened last night. You know what? Maybe I'll try to edit this on CapCut and then put it on the tuber. I don't know. I don't have any advice or whatever. This is just like my thoughts. And I don't even really know if this is coherent. I've been talking for 41 minutes and 25 seconds, which is a long time. I'm going to try to call my mom and talk to her instead. But it's hard. These are just my feelings. And it felt good to talk about it. And, yeah, I think I'm deciding to not block him. <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't roll your eyes yet. I want to be the one who decides if I respond or don't respond, you know. I don't want the block button, you know. I don't want my blockage of him to be the deciding factor. 
I have to do it. I have to be strong enough to to do that, you know? And I haven't decided yet if I want to say goodbye to him, like, in person or not. Um, so, yeah, I haven't decided. Maybe that is bad that I haven't decided, but it's true that I haven't, so that's my truth okay i'm sorry to everyone who i let down back when i blocked him the first time i know you were all really proud of me and i appreciate you for comforting me then i'm asking for your comfort again (laughs) hello it's me asking for comfort again (laughs) i made a mistake and yeah, I, I don't, don't want this person in my life. He's actually terrible. He's actually terrible. He's actually not normal. Like, the way he behaves... And the, the most frustrating thing is he doesn't realize it. I want to, like, shake him and be like, You are an insane person. You are fucked up! But you can't make someone realize. He can only realize it on his own. Um, He's very immature. Being a human is so difficult. Everyone is trying their best. And like, I see that everyone's trying their best. And so I just, to me, I feel like I can accept any type of treatment because I just know you're trying your best. I know you're not trying to hurt me. Literally, everyone is trying their best. But that I don't deserve to be hurt. I really don't. Even if you're trying your best and you end up hurting me like that's not a reason for me to keep someone in my life oh they're but they're trying their best no kaisa no it doesn't matter let them try their best by themselves okay okay (sighs) okay i'm going to stop talking about this now and Read a book and drink some water and enjoy the nice weather. Okay, bye.